Hello, welcome along. This is uh, the watercolour we're going to uh, do today. Just a simple scene of a little boat there, just floating on the water. You can see a little figure in the boat there, some trees in the background and reflection. So starting off with um, just some uh, A4 watercolour paper, 300 GSM. I did not wet the paper first. I'm just putting just a good mixture of cobalt blue down onto the paper. Um, and in some areas I'm, I'm giving the uh, brush um, a nice saturation just to uh, spread those colours a little bit. Just a very quick, loose sky. Nothing special about the sky, it's just there, just as, a, just as an impression, that's all we want. Straight into it with um, some Australian dark leaf green. We're going to be putting um, a little bit of yellow ochre in there as well. And we'll just uh, put a bit more colour of uh, that dark leaf green just over the top. That area we're just painting right there. Uh, we'll put a few smaller trees in there as well. So that area right there, we'll put some trees in here, in there too. We'll get back to that later. little bit of yellow ochre just to give some variation I'm wetting the foreground here now just with some clean water A little bit of blue in there, cobalt blue, just over that wet, so that's wet on wet now. Just a bit stronger in the foreground.
Okay, so we are going to um, put some trees on the left-hand side in the, in the background. We'll get to that a little bit later on, but we need to bring the reflection of these um, trees right here down into the water. Paper is still wet. Just putting a bit more uh, dark leaf green in some areas there, just to just give it a bit more intensity because the watercolours, they tend to lighten up, they tend to fade. So don't be afraid just to go over some areas a little bit darker. Just with a, um, just with a clean white brush, uh, wide. It's a flat brush, but uh, washing it out with clean water, and uh, drying it off with a paper towel. So that's basically what I want there. Um, just applying just a very light wash of just a little bit of more green coming down the page, coming down the uh, watercolour paper. A little bit of white gouache. Now we'll bring that We'll fade that back a bit. It's okay, but I think it's a little bit too stark. It's a bit too white. So we'll just bring that back a little bit, just so it blends in a bit more. Don't want it standing out. We, we want to see it, but we don't want it to be um, dazzling white. You know what I mean? We want to bring that back just a bit.
think that's just about it. Still got that little fellow on the boat to paint. We might be able to just see him there in pencil. I'm just scraping um, with the corner of the back of a paint tube. I'm just scraping some um, impressions of some branches. I'm just scraping through the paint here um, and just leaving the impression of some uh, white branches or some branches in through those trees there. Now I might go over some of that again. Just not completely, but just a couple of those lines. I may just uh, just put a bit of green over just a couple of those lines. Oh, now you can see that I've spilt some white paint over where that little man on the boat is. So I'm going to have to fix that up. That's okay. I'll just dampen the brush, and just bring it through, and then repaint that little boat. Before I do that, I'll just, um, sometimes accidents happen. Some paint just fell off the brush there. Um, I'll have to be a bit more careful, but I'll be able to fix that. You see those blotches of paint, splotches of paint there, one over the boat and there's one up near the horizon. I'm just um, putting a reflection of these um, branches com coming into the water there. Just going to bring them back just fade them back a bit with a bit of a uh, tiny bit of water i don't want them to be standing out too much just just so you can just see them just an impression that's all we want just bring that back a bit there now we'll have to work on that uh we'll work on that white splotch what i'll do is get a um, damp brush, dry it off with a paper towel and just um, um, blend that white into the rest of the painting and then I'll go over the boat again. So we'll do that fairly soon. Could put a little bird up in the sky there but I think we'll leave that out today. And you can see I have, I haven't fixed the boat yet, but I've blended that white paint into the painting where that boat is. So I'll be going over the boat and fixing the boat up next. But before I do that, I just want to put a little row of trees in the background here. And I'll just go underneath it very carefully, a bit of a reflection. and bring some light reflection just in through here. Now to fix this boat up.
a little man, I think there's a little man or a little figure in the back of that boat, so we'll paint him in. Putting a bit of uh, water under the boat and I'm going to bring a bit of reflection from that boat there using the same uh, colour, Payne's Grey. with a damp, fairly not wet, but um, clean brush dried off with a paper towel, but it's still, I mean, it's not dry, but it's not saturated. I'm just dragging it through. Now I suppose I could have um, brought that reflection down even further into the into the water if I wanted to, but I think it looks all right the way it is. But you, you, I could have extended it and brought it down a bit further, just signing my name on there now. And I want to actually just increase the uh, density of that reflection under those trees, those big trees on the right hand side. So I'll do that in just a moment. Take off the masking tape. So that's our painting. We'll just fix up the bottom of the reflection uh, just to give it a little bit more strength in color, a little bit more depth. I'm just going over some of those um, white branches. Remember I said I'd do that? And just to um, give this a bit more depth by um, putting a little bit more um, colour just very carefully just in this reflection. Don't want to overdo it. I think that's about right. So there it is. Not much in that one but um, you can just see it's just a simple boat out on the water. As I said, you could bring that reflection down a little bit further. Um, this is this is it there up closer now. Very loose watercolour. Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Click that bell icon to be notified of more watercolours. We'll have another one up hopefully again tomorrow. Really appreciate your company and watching. Bye for now.